Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. Until today we have seen some of the date functions and some basic functions inside Excel. Today we will learn how to make use of date value and time value function. To follow along with me you need to download this workbook using the link in the video description. There are two worksheets in this workbook, date value and time value. I will demonstrate date value for you in this video. I am leaving time value for you to practice. Since these both functions carry the same structure, it should not be a problem for you to practice when you are doing time value. Let's begin. At times when you are dealing with large data inside Excel, you might come across some of the data where the dates are mentioned in text value. How are you going to deal with that? If you just hover your selection on that, you will notice there is a small little triangle on the top left of that cell and there is a warning sign it says the moment I place my mouse cursor on it the cell contains a date string represented with only two digits for the year so there is a problem with this one I can go ahead click this fix it convert it to uh, 19 series or 20 series of the date or ignore the error so let me let me not do anything of that sort here rather I will click in this C2 go ahead type in date value function and you could notice the moment I am selecting that function it says it will convert the date in a form of text that would represent the date in Excel let me select that one it takes in one parameter that is the date text this is the value that I need to refer it to since this is being represented as text inside Excel so let me select that close the bracket press enter it will give me number in return this is a format of date in Excel just another format let me drag this down quickly all of them are now properly converted to date let me highlight these cells press control 1 on the keyboard to bring in the formatting window with this formatting window in view I will go ahead select date and from this I will select any of uh, the date format of my choice and click OK see that is perfectly converted I request you to try the same thing in time value and see how things work you might not come across this kind of data very often but when you do it will drive you crazy so remember this trick it will help you the more you practice the more you will retain thank you so much for watching this video in the next episode I will show you how to calculate the difference between times so don't miss it to continue learning with me subscribe to the channel Click on that little bell icon to receive notifications of the new videos. Have a nice day.